playing with the Perrys, and I would like to start today talking about um, a left-hand pattern called the tenth. Um, now, what is a tenth? Um, well, let's take a C triad. If we play a C chord down here, that's a little muddy, so we're just going to adjust or revoice our chord here, and we keep the C and the G, and we just move the third of the chord here up an octave higher. And if you can play that with uh, one hand, uh, your fifth finger on C, your second finger on G, and your thumb on E, which makes a nice, rich, full sound um, instead of just playing an octave. Um, now, if you can't reach that with just one hand, um, you can roll it like this. Um, now, when you roll a tenth, make sure that the top note stands out. It gives a more professional sound um, instead of having the bottom note stand out that the third of the chord is one of the most important notes of the chord. Um, now to incorporate this into a song, if you were going, um, just take a C chord. Okay, that gives it a full type sound. Um, now that's in root position where the root or the name of the chord is on the bottom. Now you can also do this in the key of F. Take your F, C, and an A, or do it in the key of G, G, D, and B. Um, now, we have inversions of these chords. Um, so let's just use C, E, and G, and we'll move the E on the bottom and take a C and a G, okay? That gives it a nice full sound, and it's still on a C chord. Um, so you can go from C, and you get a different texture of a song. Um, now, another, another thing you can do is when you're going from a common progression from a one to a four chord, like C to F, um, you could re-voice this chord from C. Instead of just going from a C chord to an F chord, you could go a half step above the F chord, which will be G flat or F sharp. Um, and you could play a tenth such as this. And I ended on a major seven chord. Um, if you want to end on a major seven chord in your left hand, assuming you already know these chords, it'll be from F to E and an A. Um, gives it a nice, rich, full type sound. Um, in another key, um, we could go to the key of D flat. Okay. Um, If you were listening, you heard the tenth patterns in my left hand. Uh, there, half step below, half step above to G flat chord. And then some inner voicings. Yeah. Now, um, I believe that Stan Whitmire used some tenths um, when he was showing you about arpeggios and scales. He used tenth patterns in his left hand to walk up to make his sounds a lot more full. Um, but anyway, th this should help a little bit. Um, and just use these in every key. Um, try some inversions of these chords. Some of them won't sound good. They will be too low or too muddy, so you might have to move them up an octave higher. Um, but I hope this helps out and your left hand sounds some.